Are you considering an HD over coax system such as CVI or TVI, but don't know which is right for you? Actually, there are many different options to choose from on the market, not just CVI and TVI. One important thing to consider is there are both analog and digital forms of HD over coax. Here at Clinton Electronics, we believe digital is better and we'd love to introduce you to a technology called EXSDI. What is EXSDI? It's an exciting new HD over coax technology that differs from HD analog formats like HDTVI, HDCVI, and AHD in that it's all digital. In fact, EXSDI stands for Extended Serial Digital Interface. So why does that matter? Other HD over coax formats, like HD analog, are based on analog modulation technology. With analog, the greater the distance, the more the signal degrades, even if you try to boost the signal strength. Let's examine an analog signal to see why. Analog signals continuously vary in both amplitude and frequency and can take on many different values. Over distance, the analog signal loses amplitude and picks up noise, making it hard to determine what the original signal should be. On the other hand, digital shows no image degradation over distance. Let's look at the difference. A digital signal consists of only two values, either a 1 or a 0. It's a representation of whether an electrical signal is on or off. Because there's less data, it's much easier to reproduce at distance or when noise is present. To put it another way, if you were to take a VHS tape and make a copy of it, then a copy of that copy, and so on, until you had copied it a hundred times, the end result would be a video that was barely recognizable as the original. If we were to take a DVD and do the same thing, the hundredth copy would be identical to the original. That's one of the primary reasons why a digital signal will always outperform an analog signal. We've mentioned noise and interference a bit. Let's look at the differences in how analog and digital signals handle interference. Analog technology is very susceptible to interference. There are potential sources of interference everywhere, from fluorescent lights, microwaves, high voltage power lines, elevators, and more. This external interference can cause the image to be noisy, exhibit horizontal banding, tearing, or not display at all. Digital technology is far less susceptible to interference and noise, especially when using properly shielded cable, making it a much better method of data transmission. How is EXSDI able to transmit Full HD video over long distance? Simply put, encoding. EXSDI uses a visually lossless codec, or VLC, to compress and transmit the signal over a long distance. A codec is a method of encoding video, and visually lossless means that it's undetectable to the human eye. Let's look at an example. The original file size of this high-resolution image of a frog was 7.2 megabytes. When we apply a visually lossless compression technique to the image, we can get that file size down to a mere 642 kilobytes. Can you see a difference between the two? Look closely. Is there any grain or compression artifacts? No. That's the power of using VLC. So we've established that EXSDI is digital, which means it doesn't degrade over distance, is less susceptible to external interference, and transmits full HD video at distances that rival HD analog. It seems like a simple decision to use EXSDI, right? But what's it compatible with? Long before HD over coax was an option in the CCTV industry, in 1998, SMPTE standardized HDSDI, an all-digital interface. Since EXSDI is backwards compatible with HDSDI, you can take full advantage of a wide range of existing specialized products already available for HDSDI, such as HDSDI monitors, video distribution amplifiers, multiplexers, matrices, test monitors, repeaters, character generators, and capture cards. There are even HDSDI converters that allow you to convert HDSDI to HDMI, IP, analog, and even HD analog. You don't even need to use coax. HDSDI can also be transmitted over Cat5 or fiber optic with simple transmission devices. Almost none of these devices are available for HD analog simply because there is no secondary market like there is for HDSDI. So what does the future hold for EXSDI? 
well, it's capable of much more than what we've discussed so far. Features like 4 and 5 megapixel resolution, 4K video at 30 frames per second, universal coax communication, time division multiplexing, and even longer transmission distances than before are all coming soon. Now that you've had a chance to get familiar with why EXSDI is superior to HD analog, you'll be able to make an informed decision on what technology is right for you. Also, don't forget to watch our HD over coax shootout video where we've put each of these technologies to the test. For more information on HD over coax and EXSDI, visit clintonelectronics.com.